Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Mathlog. This uh, lesson is on rates. So uh, our core thing is we want to get what's called a unit rate right here. So here's our common core strand right here. And our question is, um, how can we use rates to compare quantities? Okay, so rates are a fraction, a form of a fraction. So a rate is a comparison of two quantity, quantities that have different units. So for example, Heidi drove 109 miles in three hours. So this can be expressed as, here's a rate right here, 109 miles over three hours. And we say this as 109 miles per three hours. And notice that the units are different. This unit is in miles and this unit is in hours right here, okay? So here's a, 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 an example. Harley wants to compare prices of, of plant food. So Magic Grow costs $3.84 for a 16-ounce bottle, and another uh, brand called Pure Green costs $4.50 for a 25-ounce bottle. Okay, so to compare the costs, Harley has to compare uh, prices for the equal amount. So how can he do this? Okay, so we can we can make these tables right here. And so here's 16 ounces right here. Uh, for $3.84 and then pure green right here is 25 ounces for $4.50. So how much are they for one ounce right here? So so over here in this table we can just keep dividing by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, divided by 2 is uh, 2, and then finally 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, So 384 divided by 2 is $1.92 and then divided by 2 is taking half. So half of $1.92 is 96 cents and then half of 96 cents is 48 cents. So half of 48 cents is 24 cents. So for one ounce, it costs 24 cents for a magic uh, grow right here. Okay, over here, we're going to divide by five. 25 divided by five is five. Five divided by uh, five is one. Over here, 450 divided by five. Well, 45 divided by five is 90 or is 9, sorry. So 450 uh, divided by 5 is 90 right there. So 450 divided by 5 is 90 cents right there. And then divide this by 5. Okay, that's going to get us 18 cents right there. So one ounce of pure green cost 18 cents. All right, let's move that up right there. Okay, so let's answer some questions. Okay, so Magic uh, Grow costs how much per ounce? Okay, so it costs 24 cents for each one ounce right there. Oh, I don't know what happened to my little four right there. Anyways, and then uh, pure green costs um, how much per ounce? Okay, so here's the one ounce, so it costs 18 cents an ounce right there. So which brand is the better buy and why? Well, there's two ways to interpret this, you guys. One way is the better buy is how much it costs less per ounce. But, but you know, the more expensive stuff might be better. So that's why uh, the better buy might be the more expensive stuff. So anyways, pure green is the better on price because it costs costs less, okay? Pure green only costs 18 cents an ounce, and then Magic uh, Grow costs 24 cents an ounce. But Magic Grow might be a better uh, quanti uh, a better product right here, so uh, it that might be why it costs more. So which brand is the better buy? Well, it just depends on what you're looking for, okay? If you're looking for price, then um, uh, one is the answer, and if you're looking for quality, maybe the other one is the answer. Maybe not. Okay, so uh, describe another method to compare the cost. Okay, so what we can do is take, uh, here's the cost of Magic Grow. We can take uh, the, the price, which is $3.84, and divide it by... Um, uh, the, 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 how much is in the bottle, which is 16 ounces. And so 384 divided by 16 is 24 cents per ounce. Okay, and then uh, pure green is the 25 ounces divided, I'm sorry, the $4.50 divided by the 25 ounces, and that gives us uh, 18 cents per ounce. We get the same answer right there, but that's another way. Okay, and our, our, our key thing here is we want to calculate what's called a unit rate. And a unit rate is a rate in which the second quantity, which is the denominator, you guys, we want it to be one, okay, or one unit. All right, so when the first quantity in a unit rate is an amount of money, then the unit rate is sometimes called the unit price or unit cost, okay? We just want to make sure that the denominator equals one, okay? So here we go. Mike signs up for cla uh, the classes shown. What is the cost per class? Okay, so here's an SAT class right here with B&B &B test prep, and, and uh, there's a program at their school called AVID, and so they're given an AVID special for six classes for 90 bucks. So let's make a rate with that, okay? So the information here gives us the rate of $90 for six classes right here. 
All right, so to find the unit rate, we divide both quantities by the rate uh, that, that makes this um, uh, denominator equal to 1. So 6 divided by what number equals 1? We're going to divide this by 6, so that means we divide both quantities by 6, or top and bottom by 6, okay, by the number in the denominator right there, okay? So 90 divided by 6, I did that over here, so 90 divided by 6 is 15, and 6 divided by 6 equals 1, so then uh, Mike's uh, SAT class costs $15 per one class right there, okay? All right, so here's another one. Find the unit rate of this. So the cost of two pens is $5.50. What is the unit price? Again, here's our rate, $5.50, $5.50 for two pens right there. And then we're going to divide top and bottom by always this denominator right here because we want this to be 1. So we're going to divide top and bottom by 2 right there. And so $5.50 divided by 2 is two seventy-five. You can see I did that over here. So... Uh, the unit price for each pen is $2.75 right there. Okay, all right, here's one more, you guys. A bicyclist travels 20 miles in 50 minutes. Okay, so 20 miles per 50 minutes. How far does he travel per one minute right here? Okay, so this 20 goes on top, and make sure you write miles, and this 50 minutes goes on bottom. So there's our rate right there. And then we're going to divide. What are we going to divide by? Are we going to divide by 20 or by 50? We want this denominator to be 1, so we're going to divide the top and bottom by 50. Okay, so 50 goes into 20. Okay, 50 goes into 20 zero times, so we're going to add a decimal and a zero right here. And then when we subtract right there, we get 200 when we slide that down, and 50 goes into 200 four times, so 0 0.4. So the unit rate, you guys, the bicyclist uh, travels... Uh, uh, 0 0.4 miles per minute right there, okay, or four tenths of a mile. Remember this ends in a in the tenths position, so four tenths. That'll help us with this part right here. So interpret the unit rate for the bicyclist using a fraction. Okay, well remember, four, uh, 0 0.4 is the same as four tenths. Four tenths, and then divide by two, divide by two. That's how we get two fifths. So the bicyclist travels two fifths uh, per of a mile per minute right there. Okay, how can we write any unit, uh, any rate as a unit rate? Okay, so let's do this one right here. Well, we can uh, divide both the quantities uh, in the rate by the denominator. So whatever number's in the denominator, that's what we divide the top and bottom by, and that'll always give us a unit rate. Explain how we can use the diagram uh, like this one right here below to find the unit rate in section A. So that was the, the B and B test prep uh, with the six classes for $90 right there. And then complete the diagram to find the unit rate. Okay, so here this big bar represents the $90 and this small bar represents um, uh, one class right here. Okay, so this is $90 for the six classes. So how much is one class right there? Well, how we do this is we use the big bar to represent the total cost and the smaller bar to represent the unit cost and then so then we divide the total cost bar into equal parts into six equal parts right here because there's six classes right there and then that'll tell us uh, and then divide 90 divided by six and that gives us that each uh, unit bar right here is going to be 15 bucks right there all right so one more problem you guys so uh, there are 156 players on 13 teams. Whoops, did I say one more? We got one more after this. I'm sorry. Um, uh, so how many players are on each team? Okay, so we're going to write this as a rate, 156 players for 13 teams right there. So now we're going to divide the top and bottom by 13 to figure out how many are on each team right there. Okay, so 156 divided by 13 is 12. So there's 12 players on, on each team right there. All right, so problem solving with unit rates, we can solve rate problems by using a unit rate or by using what's it called equivalent rate. So here's an example right here. So at a summer camp, did you guys go to a summer camp? Have you ever been to a summer camp? They're pretty cool. At a summer camp, the campers are divided into groups. Each group has 16 campers, and it's shared for the 16 campers going two cabins. So how many cabins are needed for 112 campers? All right, so we're going to first make a, a, a rate on this. Okay, so 16 campers for two cabins, and then we're, let's find the unit rate right here. So we're going to divide by this denominator right here. So divide by 2, divided by 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8, 
and then 2 divided by 2 is 1. So here's our unit rate. So 8 campers for one cabin right there. So we're going to use that right there and divide the number of campers, the total number of campers, which is this 112, by the unit rate, which is 8. Okay, so 112 divided by 8 is going to give us uh, 14 right there. So uh, 8 campers, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 112 campers are going to make us, uh, give us 14 camper, or 14 cabins right there, okay? All right, here's another way, you guys. We can use what's called equivalent rates. And so here we are, 16 campers for two cabins right there. So that's going to equal 112 campers for how many cabins right there? And so we look at the relationship from 16 campers to 112 campers and then ask yourself 16 times what gives us 112 right there well 16 times 7 equals 112 so if we multiply the top numbers by 7 then multiply the bottom numbers by 7 and then so so this 2 times 7 right here will give us a we'll need for that the 14 cabins right there okay so uh, the camp needs 14 cabins to cover those uh, 112 campers right there okay I hope that makes sense take care